Okay, this is the continuation from the other video that just dropped her halfway. And I see what it says here. Look at just like I said, look at chapter 9 from verse 59 to 62. He said, Am he said, and he said to another, Follow me. But he said, I don't know, let me first go and bury my father. And Yahushua said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and announce the reign of Elohim. That was a bad declaration. His father had died and he needed to go bury him because he didn't, he didn't know when he's going to go back to his family. Is that not a valid reason that Inasha gave to him? Hey, remember your dad had died and he needs to be buried. Why don't you go and settle it up? You know, in those days, maybe some, they put him for embalmment and things like that. And then now if there's a specific date that has been set. And then now he says, since Yahushua is calling me, why don't I go quickly bury him? Because now, so that I don't um, upset the plans of the family, so that then I can now feel relaxed in my heart to now give him my all and follow him. You see? <laughs> and now what happened at the end of the day? Uh, you should say, what did he reply to him? He said this. And he said, let the dead bury their own dead. What? Indirectly say, man, that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. That's in Asha speaking to you. That's procrastination. It's not, you, you, it's not a valid reason not to follow me immediately. In Asha will always give you any reason and rationalize it in your head. That's what you have got to know. And um, Yahushua said to him, Let the dead bury your own dead, but you go and announce the reign of Elohim. I'm reading now from my scriptures, um, Hallelujah scriptures. 61. And another said, Adonai, I shall follow you, but let me first say goodbye to those in my house. Now, my Mishpaka, is that not another valid reason? Hey, you've got family, right? Somebody says, Follow me. The first thing you have to do that will come to you here is, hey, you've got to tell my wife, my children, or my parents, or my in-laws, or my family members, where I'm going to. Yahushua has called me. I've got to tell them goodbye because I don't know where I'm going to come back. Because Yahushua moves from one city to the other, one town to the other, so that they will not look for me. So that they will not declare me as a missing person and start looking for me. So that they can at least know that I'm with Yahushua. So, that's what I'm saying. Is it not a valid excuse? Is that not a valid reason? That's what El Shaddai is trying to tell us today. That the angel of inertia will give you reasons that will, that, are, that will sound valid and rational in your head. But I tell you, if you want to be great, if you want to achieve what El Shaddai has brought you to this world to do, you have to say no to all forms of excuses, no matter how valid or sane it may sound in your head. Say no. I watched another more valid one be brought to you. Say no until you overcome them and you are able to move forward to the next level that has been uh, prepared for you. I tell you, if you do not do this, you depend on it, you remain stuck and you remain dissatisfied and you remain unfulfilled. I tell you. Now, look at what Yahushua replied. If, you know, any other person will say, ah, let me be overstand. Okay, all right. Go quickly, tell them goodbye. I'll be waiting for you. When you're done, then you come, let's go. That's what Yahushua said. But Yahushua said to him, No one having put his hand to the plow and looking back except for the reign of Elohim. Why should I don't deal with Medoka? That spirit of Anasha, that angel Anasha, is there to make sure that you are a go getter, you are a pace setter, that you will not take any excuses at all. Because your L will take no excuses for you whatsoever for not fulfilling what he has put you on to do. Be it observing of the Shabbat, be it serving him, observing the new moons, whatever, he's not going to take any excuse. You can see a very clear example here. You say he overstands. You say he must be overstands. It's not true. He put a natural there to shape you to become like him. Yahushua did not take any of those Two powerful excuses. Tell me, you will say, how will you feel if your son one day goes out and never comes back without telling where he went? Is that not so? So meaning that that reason to say, let me go and tell my family goodbye is actually a valid reason. You say, no, it's not a reason at all. Go, just come back. That's what you have to know. 
If you learn the scripture exactly the way it has been written in the original form in the 18th century, you understand that what people are practicing in the name of serving El Shaddai, serving Elohim, but they are only joking. And that is why it was very clearly written somewhere in the book of Revelation. He said, Because you are neither hot nor cold, I will fill you up. The only type of people that El Shaddai wants are those that are on fire. Fire, my friend, fire, fire, no excuse, no excuse, fire. You are always on fire. Right? Those are the category of people he goes for. Not the warm, not the lukewarm, and neither the cold. Fire, that extreme, him, you are on fire for him. Now ask yourself, are you doing yourself a favor by listening to Elisha, procrastination, and also the spirit of laziness? Look at your life today. Look at your service of El Shaddai. Look at your service. Are you serving him exactly the way you want to say? I pray that as you listen to them, that El Shaddai will empower every single person that have decided they are going to be on fire for him. That have decided they are going to maximize every opportunity in their life, overturn the season they are in, and do what the will of Hakadosh Baruch Hu will do in each one of you today. Shalom and have a beautiful Shabbat Shalom.